landmark achievement has been reported in the domain of healthcare sector in a significant breakthrough that could perhaps potentially revolutionize the treatment of HIV in the coming days an HIV patient has now been declared completely cured and free of this deadly virus. This is the fifth case of a patient in the entire medical history till date who have been declared HIV free after undergoing a stem cell therapy. With this, stem cells and the stem cell therapy are back in focus now. In this video, we tell you more about this patient and a few others who have been cured of HIV and the stem cells along with the stem cell therapy. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India. A 53-year-old man from Germany has made it to the list of a few lucky patients with HIV to be declared clear of the virus. The code name of this man is Dusseldorf patient. This so-called Dusseldorf patient was diagnosed with HIV in 2008 and was put on a course of antiretroviral treatment in 2010. The following year, he was diagnosed with leukemia, which is a cancer of WBC in the bone marrow. In 2013, he underwent a stem cell transplant from a female donor. A little over nine years after receiving this initial treatment, and four years after ceasing to use antiviral treatments, he now displays no signs of functional replicating HIV particles in his body, thus effectively making him virus-free. The first person to be cured of HIV was Timothy Ray Brown, who was referred to by researchers as the Berlin patient. Three others have also been cured, including the London patient in 2019, the City of Hope and New York patients in 2022. All four underwent stem cell transplant, a high-risk procedure also referred to as a bone marrow transplant to treat blood cancer and receive an HIV-resistant mutation from their donors, which deletes a protein the virus normally uses to enter blood cells. HIV or human immunodeficiency virus is a virus that attacks the body's immune system and if not treated can lead to AIDS. There is no cure for it. Despite there being no cure for the virus, some researchers had started to implement stem cell transplants as treatment allowing doctors to insert anti-HIV genes or mutations into an affected person's new immune system. But what exactly are the stem cells? What are these basic building blocks that hold so much potential in terms of treatment of such deadly disease? Stem cells are specialized human cells that are able to develop into many different cell types. They can range from muscle cells to brain cells. In some cases, they can also fix damaged tissues. No other cell in the body has the natural ability to generate new cell types. These are divided into two main forms, the embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells. The embryonic stem cells that are often used in research today come from unused embryos. These result from IVF, that is in vitro fertilization procedure. These embryonic stem cells are pluripotent, which means that they can turn into more than one type of cell. Another category is of adult stem cells. There are two types of adult stem cells. One comes from fully developed tissues such as the brain, skin and bone marrow. They are multipotent, that is they can give rise to a limited number of mature cell types, usually corresponding to the tissues in which they reside. For example, a stem cell that comes from the liver will only make more liver cells. The second type is induced pluripotent stem cells. These are adult stem cells that have been changed in a lab. Though induced pluripotent stems don't seem to be very different from embryonic stem cells, but scientists have not yet found any one that can develop every kind of cell and tissues. And stem cell therapy that is also known as regenerative medicine promotes the repair response of diseased, dysfunctional or injured tissues using these stem cells or their derivatives. The only stem cells currently used to treat disease are hematopoietic stem cells. These are blood cells forming in adult stem cells and are found in the bone marrow. Stem cell therapies are already being used to treat several ailments including type 1 diabetes, heart diseases and other such diseases. But they have their own risks. Although this study adds to previous cases of successful curing of HIV, it does not at this stage mean that stem cell transplants are a safe and viable alternative to HIV treatment. It might take a lot of time in order for this to happen. This was all about the stem cells and the stem cell therapy. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.